Hi guys, here's a Blender 2.8 video in which I show you a new feature again and this is the sculpting brush called Simplify. You can use it with dynamic topology or better to say you can use it with dynamic topology enabled only to sculpt in areas with a specific resolution to your meshes. So the name Simplify is a bit misleading because you can add areas with higher or lower resolution using this brush. I used the stone model that I created with dynamic topology from the previous tutorial for demonstration and you can see the mesh here in edit mode. But you can change to sculpting mode as well and then enable the wireframe display in the overlays to see how we will change the geometry using the simplify brush. Ok, I select the brush now and then set the resolution of the dynamic topology to a lower value, for example 30. Then I increase the brush size a bit and begin sculpting onto the mesh. And here you can see how the resolution at these areas is lowered. After that I hold the shift key down to smooth out some parts and when I disable the wireframe display, we don't see any changes but we definitely decrease the poly count. But as I said, you can use the brush as well to add high poly parts to the mesh. Now I go ahead and increase the resolution of the dynamic topology to a value of 350 and then I sculpt again with the simplify brush. And as you can see here, we added some really dense geometry to the mesh. Ok, the next thing that I want to do is to add some details. So I append again the orb brushes and I will use brushes like the slash to add details to these high poly parts. The wireframe overlay helps us here because we can see now at which areas we are able to sculpt in the details. Don't forget to disable the dynamic topology before you do this for performance reasons. You remember the last lesson? And look at this how fast you can use this and with a high amount of detail. Now let's do the same for this part with the lower resolution and you see the result. So this was again a very short tip and also an answer to a request I got. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Guys if you like this channel then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to support me consider being my patron because this really helps this channel grow. Thanks a lot for this, add your feedback and ideas to the comments below and I see you on JNM.